for automatically emailing uh, reports, okay? And what's really nice about this is you can automatically email a report daily, weekly, monthly, and it could be a regular report or it could be a custom report. So I wanna show you a couple of use cases. So I'm gonna show you a demo now, Michelle, if you wanna give me control. So I'll show you a few use cases on that. So I'm gonna go into the reports tab here on the left side, and then I'm gonna pull up, let's say, a balance sheet. So one of my, my really huge pet peeves in a balance sheet is that the balance sheet doesn't show me the comparative um, with last year. I mean, I would say nine times out of 10, I'm pulling up a balance sheet. I can't use it by itself. I need to have that comparative. So I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, customize and then click previous period here and then click uh, dollar change and then click uh, run report. So this is a really important thing for me is I, I just can't, um, can't really look at a, a balance sheet unless I have a previous period comparison. Now, sometimes you may wanna do previous period and sometimes you wanna do previous year depending on exactly what you're trying to achieve. Um, you know, if, if you're a, more of a tax preparer type of uh, type of, of user, you may want to do uh, previous year. So let me do uh, this year here on the balance sheet and compare it with the with the year before. That way, I'm comparing them uh, this year and then and then last year. And then this is a report that I typically don't want to sit there and, and and modify each time. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, Save Customizations on the top. So I click Save Customizations and then I'll call it. Uh, balance sheet with last year dollar comparative or something like that. Okay, then I'm gonna I have a couple of things I can do. It's I can add it to a group and then by it being part of a group, this is where I can start scheduling it. So I'm gonna go to add new and then I'm gonna call it monthly. That way I basically created a, a report group called monthly and then I'm gonna save all my custom reports into that monthly group right there. And also if I want any other users in QuickBooks to be able to see my uh, my modified or my customized report, then I'll click on share this report with all, uh, with all company users. That way somebody else can, can take a look at that custom report. Let's say the other report that I pull, I'm gonna go, go ahead and do a profit and loss, and then I'm gonna click on collapse, and I'm gonna do transaction date, I'll do this year, and then I click on run. And then I'm also going to click on uh, customize and then I'm going to do uh, descending order and then I'll also do previous year and I'll do percent change. So let's say this is how I normally like seeing my, my profit and loss reports, you know, like this. So again, I'm also going to customize this one and also give it a name, you know, with previous year percent change. And then very important, I'm going to make this part of my monthly group and then I'm gonna put it here under monthly and also share this with other users so they can see it and hit okay. And then let's say, and I'm gonna show you one really interesting trick. So I'm gonna go do a reconciliation. Okay, I'm gonna do something that, you know, typically us accountants, you know, we, we don't do this, but um, a lot of our clients do, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna reconcile this and just force a reconciliation with a reconciliation discrepancy. So I'm just gonna show you real quick what obviously what you should never do, right? Something like this. But if your client happens to uh, do a reconciliation and do an automatic adjustment like this, uh, when, you, when you see your profit and loss report, you're going to notice that a reconciliation discrepancy uh, transaction uh, shows up. So one of the things I like to do is I like to uh, open up my reconciliation discrepancy detail report like this. Here where it says transactions, I'll put all dates and hit run report. And I know some of you know where I'm, where I'm going with this. I'm gonna save customization and call it recon discrepancy. Okay, and I'm also gonna add this into my monthly report. So what's, what's nice about this is um, I can proactively uh, set up my, my QuickBooks um, to send me monthly reports. So I'm gonna go to uh, reports. I'm gonna click on my custom reports and then I see my group, there's my monthly group there, right? Uh, and then I can edit this group, and I'm gonna say, you know, we're gonna set an email schedule, and we're gonna repeat these in a monthly basis on the, let's say, the sixth day of the month, right? Uh, or actually, every, every one month, and we're gonna do it on the sixth day of the month, and in something like this, and then I'll put my, my own email address here, and then basically, I set it and forget it, so I can, 
if I am the type of uh, pro advisor that just um, that just teaches our client what to do, and then every once in a while they call us for support. I could at least monitor what they're doing. So if I see something crazy show up in, in that report, I know that maybe they're falling behind. And the most important thing is if they do a reconciliation discrepancy, I will see the details and exactly what they, you know, what they did. And, and even I could customize that report to put the end user that did that as well. So, I mean, that's, that's, that I find that to be a really, really, really powerful feature I really wish uh, QuickBooks Desktop could do that. I mean, there's been many requests uh, for it to do that, but f- for now, I find that to be a, a real powerful, super cool feature of uh, of QuickBooks Online. 